Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back to uh, Witches and Midnight, Midnight Margaritas. Margaritas. We understand we're not always drinking margaritas, but we're all actually not always drinking either. <laughs> so, spoiler alert. Well, today, we're going to do the drowning curse. You can make this as easy or as complicated as you want. Yeah. Um, why would we want to curse someone in drowning? Because maybe they are, you're at a job. And your boss isn't doing his job, so you want to drown what he's doing. Yeah, like... Right? So that he he or she doesn't have to be a he, but if that, they so think, they change their ways. Yeah, if they think they're the cock of the walk and they're so overwhelmed. Yeah. Oh, we can overwhelm you. Yeah, exactly. No problem. Let's fix this. Yeah. Right? You can, uh, for instance, like yeah, just for instance, you can do a curse of drowning on just about anybody that you want to. Uh, yeah. You don't need a reason. No. But we're just kind of giving an example. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> um, this would work particularly well on anyone that was born under a fire sign. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be your Aries, your Leo, your Sagittarius, because drowning is water, right? right. We're dousing that flame. Yeah. So exactly. if, if you have someone <clears throat> that. Um, is in one of those zodiacs. It's all fiery and shit. Mm -hmm. Douse them. Yeah. It's just Drown them out. Exactly. And as always, our recommendation is if you're doing a curse on somebody or a hex, always leave a way out. If they change their behavior or whatever it is you decide that it can be done. If you don't want to be doing a bunch of curses and forget about them, people do change. They do. And if they Sometimes. don't, it's on them. That's right. It's not our business. So you just have a way out so that when they change their attitude or whatever, then it's done. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to get into it. I'm going to try to control my cussing a little bit. <laughs> I'll lower it by 2%. <laughs> Probably not going to happen. Probably not going to happen. <laughs> and on that note, we need a jar. <clears throat> And in that jar, first and foremost, we are going to need a piece of whoever it is you're cursing. That is always best. Yeah. Um, pop it. Why not? You can. Um, today, we're just going to write their name on a piece of paper. So uh, if you have watched a few of our videos, you know that we like to curse Mike Hunt. <laughs> not anybody in particular. Just the name. Just the name. If your name is Mike hunt no curses intended unless you're an asshole but then you're gonna fold it we out no you were not cursing you no <laughs> just fold it up try to fold away from yourself away from you. yep. doesn't matter how many times um and then we're just gonna plop this right into the jar oh perfecto. perfecto okay then we're going to add some sand, like for the ocean. Oh, and you, right. and you want to put them in the bottom so that they're trapped in the mucky muck. Yeah. We're going to add a couple of things in yeah. here in the bottom of this jar. So I've got some sand first, first and foremost. You can probably put a lot of it in. I'm going to put dirt in too. So. Oh. I'm, I'm always telling her how to live her life. Yeah, I know. It's She's... what I do. The dirt will cover. Okay. That works. You can put as much sand as you want. You can do whatever you want. Absolutely. If you want to spit in this, piss in this, put needles and stuff, you do what you need to do. But this is just a put very... nails in, whatever you want. Yeah. This is just basic. This is uh, cursing 101. And if you want to uh, write an incantation for it, you can do that too. But you don't necessarily need to. Because when you're doing stuff like this, you already have... The intention in you to do this, like, oh my god, you're such a piece of shit, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So she's got her graveyard dirt. Now, is that fresh graveyard dirt? Mm, <laughs> I think we've had it for a little while. But... Yeah, we're just about out. Yeah, no, we're gonna have to go shopping we, <laughs> in the graveyard. We, we call our little trips hunting trips, where we go and collect things uh, that nature provides, always leaving an offering for sure. So we're going to bury this. Yeah. 
totally covered. Totally covered. So, you can see papers in Mike's the down in there with some sand and graveyard dirt. Can't even tell you what graveyard this is from. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. No. But not not every graveyard's the same, that's for sure. We've <laughs> been to a few. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then water. We're gonna have water. And while you're pouring it in, say what you wanna say. say what you wanna say. You dirty piece of shit. Always making my life hard. Miserable. I'm not happy with you. You think you you're so to, great. You need to stop what you're doing. Knock it off. Yeah. And just make it muddy. Because you see, he's in the bottom there. And if he wanted to float to the top, he's got to get through all the mucky muck. That's a technical term. Yeah, the mucky muck. Mucky muck. Mucky muck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Close him in there. Yeah. So what it looks like now is uh, he's in there floating around underneath the muck, but on top of the sand. So they're trapped. Yeah. They, that piece of paper is drowning. It's drowning. Yeah, and you can, if you want to, use it as, a little, it. as a little snow globe. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. Oh, it looks like a mud shake now. <laughs> it looks delicious. But you can do that too. Yeah. You're still gonna be in the bottom of that paper. Yeah. We used a little heavier paper, so it would stay there. Yeah, we use, we use cardstock. You don't have to. And just to add a little bit of extra, this is what we like to do. If you have tarot cards, yeah, and you want to uh, sit this uh, on your shelf or altar or wherever you put such items, you can add tarot cards to yeah. add uh, oomph. Oomph is also a technical word. Um, <laughs> one that I would always add is the hanged man. The reason I would always add the hanged man is because uh, the hanged man is laying, like hanging there being a victim, but he can get himself out. Yeah. And Anita and I agree yeah. like, that you should always huh. leave a way for them out. Yeah. So if he changes his behavior, blah, 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 he can get out. Exactly. So the other two that you might want to do... You can use one or three. You can use a whole bu bunch oh, if you want if to. You want. Yeah, it's it's just adding more to your spell. Yeah. The other one that you might want to add is the death card. Now, before anyone gets all crazy, about crazy, that. death means change. It doesn't mean, mean death, right? I mean, what you do in your time is your business, but we're just telling you the basic meaning of death is right. change. change. So, if you really, if you're drowning someone to make them change their ways. This is a good card to add. This is a fantastic card to add. Um, if you're cursing them to drown and you want their life to go to hell, you can just go on ahead and add the tower. You know, because the tower is a complete crumbling down of everything. It's decimation to rise again. These aren't negative cards, no, by no. the way. None of them are. Right? But... If, if you are going so far as to put someone in a jar to make them feel like they're drowning and they're being held down and yeah. whatever, it's really great to add cards to that. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. I mean, obviously, if you're practicing in the broom closet, you probably won't be comfortable doing that. But you could just put, you know, put them underneath. Hey, Mike, you know, knock it off. Knock it off. Save yourself. But you can also end any spell any time that you want to you for any reason. Yeah. You just say it's done and you, you make the, the declaration. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And get rid of the product. Yeah, and get rid of it. And please, like, I, look, I know freezer spells are so popular. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm speaking out against it. As uh, someone that's got a lot of food in her freezer, yeah, I'm we like... We don't do freezer spells because it just really takes up room in your freezer. And then you just forget about it. You go back in and you're like, yeah, what and, did I have this for? Yeah, and if you want someone to have a change of behavior, freezing them isn't going to do it because that freezes them in place. And when they thaw out, they'll continue. Exactly. Right? So do this and make them figure out how to get themselves out. You might find that this person comes and talks to you and is like, hey, I've been an ass and I could really use help or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know 
all of the ins and outs. I have found this one to be particularly good. Yes. Good. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's all. Let I'm them say dig about. themselves, dig their way out of whatever they're doing. People got themselves into things. They need to get themselves. They can out. get themselves out. Yeah. Absolutely. And only they can do it. Mm -hmm. You can't do it for them, but you can set the stage. Yeah. Drowning's fun, guys. Don't worry about it. Anyways, that is literally all we have for you this yeah. evening. Uh, we hope you uh, stay magical and all that shit. Stay magical.